Read, nigga! Read! Do I seriously have to make this video? Just read the fucking script. Today we're talking about dog fuckers and pedophiles. Oh! Before I get into everything, I want every single one of you to check out Jokun because he has done basically all of the research for this video and has gone more in depth than I probably ever will. This video's main reason for existing is so I can throw my take in on this entire roller coaster of hell that's currently going on. Of course, I'll be joking around at some points in the video, but I'm going to need to actually show some levels of maturity during the later parts of the video. So, a warning for that, I guess. Anyway, I've wasted enough of your time. Let's go. <laughs> you know, I'd like to think that I'm a lad that shows a lot of restraint. I was honestly surprised the green martian didn't walk up to me again and call her a fucking okay but most of the time look what i'm trying to say is that there are multiple times where i could have made a video on a person but i chose not to i'm not bringing this up to put myself on a higher level than the people who have by the way since we all know i'm literally on a higher plane of existence my point is that there wasn't much of a reason for me to make a video on Safa when she made her original video on 9 11 <laughs> jesus christ also i had covid but who cares about that am i right listen i'm not ready for another lockdown i'm not ready for another lockdown please just wear your fucking mask <laughs> Hypnotist Safa was a furry hmm. who did hypnotic sessions on VR chat. It took almost no time for Safa to go tits up as within a span of six months, she went from a widow to the enemy of the state. I bet you thought I was joking about that, but I'm being dead serious. A little bit before the first fated video, Safa was caught doing some very sus shit. Yeah, it's not even sus to be honest. She straight up had minors seeing NSFW of the dog abuse kind. While Safa would claim that she didn't allow minors to see the NSFW, this is objectively wrong as one of the mods was 17 and had access to these chats. Thankfully, multiple people started to call out this bullshit and there was a tweet longer made on the 8th of September, basically exposing Sappho disgustingly. Now, Sappho is a very good manipulator and she used the only trick she could to get out of this. Firstly, claim it was fake, which, come on, your name's right fucking there. She also added people into a... harem? <sighs> One of the people in the harem was 17 years old. Oh my god. God. We're not there yet. There was also her love bombing certain people, and in some of her VR sessions, she would do ERP of people in her hair. That's it. I'm wiping out every single furry right the fuck now. Show me animals, give me boners. Safra released a video on the 11th of September where she said she was actually attracted to dogs. <laughs> what do you mean she's gaining subs, man? What the fuck? After Safa so bravely? After Safa so proudly said that she liked fucking dogs, a bunch of other Zufas flocked her to find some sort of solidarity in being absolutely deranged. So on the internet, more specifically, the commentary community got a hold of this, uh, coming out party, they did exactly what they should have. Yeah, I will not let you destroy my Zufilic dreams. Yeah. After the virtual beatdown, she released a video called For The Haters. <laughs> the likes and dislikes were turned off. Not that it really matters anymore because our favourite CEO spent a little too much time wrapping around a few corporations' dick. Back on topic, she also compared Zufos to the LGBT community. We were growing up in the 1960s and we're being fed all of the news and social propaganda about how gay people should stay in the closet how it's unnatural and against nature and all sorts of crazy shit like that, a lot of you would probably be anti-gay, anti-LGBT. I will now play a segment from my Daft Pina video. Yeah, they're basically the same thing when you compare notes. The LGBT community likes fucking people, zoophiles, fuck animals. Yeah, they're basically the same thing. If you think that same-sex relationships and the fucking degen thoughts of sexually abusing animals are the same thing, you need to go to a psych ward. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself again. I'd like to believe this is where the video ends, but since we're only on the second page, there's still so much to cover. Firstly, the tweets. You know, I never thought I'd spend the 28th of December talking about tweets from a fucking pedo. Oh wait, did you guys think I, I was gonna read 
the tweets off? Are you fucking high? <laughs> Map, minor attracted person, is a weird word and is not very well defined. Yeah, I agree. The word map is a weird term which I think we should remove from our society. The word all of you, maps, should go by is fucking pedophile. How does one log onto Twitter to say that the word map is too fake? Maybe you should have taken a few steps back and then asked yourself why you're trying to normalize that word, especially after you tweeted this. While as zoosexuals, we can be very clear and define boundaries, it's a lot harder for maps. For us zoos, it's like walking on pebbles, but for them it's like walking on razors. You know, if someone told me they were a minor attracted person, I probably would tell them not to go near a primary school full of children. Within strict boundaries, love is love. No, 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 I'm done, 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 see ya, no, no, not today. Look, I came back, alright? I realized I was gonna start making money on YouTube. Of course it's the f of course it's the dog fucker talking about boundaries. I wonder if you asked your dog permission before you sexually abused it in a Twitter space. Oh, and a Wojak. Great. Remember kids, it's only a bandwagon when it's affecting someone you like or yourself negatively. And apparently not being okay with pedophilia and the fucking of one's dog is virtue signaling. much smaller section and the last of the video thank god so i feel tempted to start an organization of other zoo files ladies and gentlemen the dog fuckers avengers <laughs> you absolute brain look i guess i should also mention how Sappho lost her shit after being banned from a few servers on vr chat and how it was affecting her this is Sappho, and I'm going to demonstrate the permanent ban systems on FurHub and Furry Talk and Chill. You'll notice that out of all of the servers here, the only two that are ever really active are FurHub and Furry Talk and Chill. So here's a nice big lobby, 26 people. Uh, it's a nice server, a nice place to be and hang out, but let's check it out. Look at that. I am permanently banned from the world despite not breaking any kind of TOS. Is that a fucking fly? What? Did I get it? Oh my god, I'm a murderer. Firstly, I'd like to say... Good riddance. And thank god you lads did what you did. Sappho is an actual danger to society. And because Sappho, as established beforehand, has the brain capacity of a B&Q shed, she thought she could get herself unbanned. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Hypnotist Sappho is a fucking groomer. Because you couldn't have gotten any worse, you bloody pig. Before we talk about the grooming, we're going to talk about the identity theft. Sappho pretended to be a person in the Air Force. Okay, I never thought I'd have to make a TikTok, but here I fucking am. I didn't even know about this until... Somebody Two hours ago, I think. Look, I know we yes, both have short brown hair. I know that we both wear the little earrings. Yeah, I'm in the Air Force. Everyone's seen the pictures of my mom's dog, the stuff that I bought for my dog when I got it. We're not the same person, though. I don't know what to tell you. I have to respectfully ask that you please stop because this will literally impact my career. I don't know who this person is. I get that we have the same first name. I don't even know how you guys got my last name. Please stop. Oh, and Sappho still thinks she's in the right, by the way. New Sappho video why stealing someone's identity is exactly the same as the lgbt community okay i've dragged my heels enough let's talk about the grooming of course she attended to get on top of this by coming out as a map no she's a self-outed pedo hey y'all come look at this hypnotherapist and zoo furry map taken <laughs> she was banned by twitter oh good job twitter doing something good for once sappho Ugh, this is so fucking gross. Attempted to send the minor she was grooming phantom touch? The frick is that? Oh my freaking gosh. Just look at these two screenshots. Fuck you, you absolute sicko. She literally admitted to it too. I just give up. So we've reached the end. Thank the lords up above. The final part is the last thing I've seen Sappho post publicly. But for what I've been told, she's apparently on the run from the FBI. This isn't a joke either. The person who told me this is a very reliable source, so I'm gonna trust it. If I had the chance to say anything to Sappho, it's this. Cope. Seethe. And cry about it. You dog fucking nonce. See ya lads.
finished the video talking about the dog fucker. Happy New Year's everyone. Stay safe and suck my dick. <laughs>